Welcome back. With the first semi-final of the Rave in the Cave tournament complete, we are moving on to the second match to determine who will face Homo Erectus in the final. Tonight's fight will see Homo Habilis vs Australopithecus. Another battle of opposing styles, Grappler vs Striker. Before we get to the match let us examine these specimens in slightly greater detail. Homo Habilis. Inhabitants of Sub-Saharan Africa between 2.1 and 1.5 million years ago, this species intermittently walked on two feet. They were very ape-like in structure, featuring long limbs and a slightly hunched posture. Males stood on average 4 foot 3 inches in height. The face of Homo habilis was smaller and shorter than previous evolutions, and featured a reduced facial projection. Their jaw was slightly smaller than earlier Australopithecines and the teeth were starting to resemble those of the modern human. Brain size had noticeably increased at this point. It is even theorized the Homo habilis may have been the first species to construct stone tools. They predominantly inhabited grassland areas, their diet being mainly vegetarian supplemented with meat when available. Australopithecus is a genus of hominins that inhabited Africa from 4.2 to 1.9 million years ago. Diminutive in stature, males on average stood only slightly above 4 feet tall. Their body structure very closely resembled modern day bonobos. They were almost entirely covered in hair. Quite different than modern humans. Australopithecus were known to be tree dwellers as they had long, strong arms and curved fingers. Their face was very ape-like in structure also, featuring extremely flat noses and projecting lower jaws which were incredibly strong, adapted for prolonged chewing of food, primarily herbivores. Australopithecus may have also eaten small, easy to catch animals. Perhaps they even consumed scavenged meat. Their brain size was about a third that of modern humans. No tools have yet been associated with the genus but they had hands that would have been able to manipulate objects. Let's see the fighters. Representing Homo habilis is this man. Standing 5 foot 2 and weighing in at 125 pounds. He is a seasoned jujitsu fighter. Fighting out of Nigeria, he is known simply as the warrior for obvious reasons. Representing the Australopithecines is this man. Standing 5 foot 2 and weighing in at just 116 pounds. He is primarily a striker. Fighting out of the Republic of Congo. He is known as Bone Crusher amongst his people because his favorite food is marrow. Will Homo habilis be able to impose his grappling acumen on Australopithecus? Or will Australopithecus avoid the takedowns and pick apart Homo habilis with strikes from the feet? If this fight is anything like the first semi-final we are in for a barn burner indeed.
sober. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! Round three! After three bloody, tightly contested rounds we will head to the scorecards to determine a victor. As we await the judges decision let's take a look at some of the action. This match turned out to be a very grappling heavy battle. Knowing the danger that Australopithecus posed on the feet Habilis was determined to get this fight to the ground and for the most part was successful. Either by landing takedowns or allowing Australopithecus to take him down. 
Australopithecus was up to the challenge as these two went back and forth all night long transitioning from position to position on the floor. In total, Habilus attempted an incredible 11 submissions, with Australopithecus defending each and every one. The underrated ground game of Australopithecus was displayed as we often saw scrambles that resulted in him securing top position and landing significant ground strikes. In a bout that was touted as grappler vs striker, this ended up being quite the grappling showcase. The small portions of the fight that took place on the feet saw vicious strikes being landed by both competitors. Several short, wild exchanges took place that led to the fighting surface being painted red with primitive human blood. Which way will the judges see this match? Will they reward Homo Habilis for his tenacious attempts to end the fight via submission? Or will they value the ability of Australopithecus to defend those submission attempts and impose his vicious top game? The scorecards are in. Australopithecus is victorious and will move on to face Homo Erectus in the Raven in the Cave Championship bout. With exponentially growing fanfare for the event we expect that the finale will take place in a large stadium that can house all of the fanatics clamoring to see these warriors live. After two grappling heavy semi-finals all of the casuals are quite pleased to learn that two strikers will be facing off in the final.